Hi, I'm Laura, and as a curvy girl, I know how difficult it can be to find a bra that fits, looks good, and still supports. A whopping 80% of women are still wearing the wrong size bra, and I want to show you the Bra Stop DIY Guide to Fitting Yourself in the Comfort of Your Own Home. But measuring yourself with a tape measure can be tricky and unreliable, as a tape measure is only there to give you a rough guide. I'm going to show you how the perfect bra should fit and where you may be going wrong. So listen up. So when you first buy a bra, make sure you start with it on the loosest fastening. You should comfortably be able to slide two fingers underneath the band like this. As a bra stretches with everyday wash and wear, we need to make sure that the bra offers you the best support. So over time, you can tighten the band with the hook. Once you're fastened in, the band must follow a horizontal line all the way around your body. The best way to see this is to stand side on and look in the mirror. As well as changing your posture, the firm back band will give you extra support and lift your boobs. If the back is riding up and creating an upside down U, it means the band is too slack. It should fit comfortably in place and not slip. Your new back band may feel odd at first, but I promise you it's offering you the best support and you'll get used to the new snug fit. Next, get the straps right by adjusting them to a two finger tension. Make sure you don't tighten them for uplift. The strap should only take 20% of the weight of your boobs. It's the back band that needs to give the most support and uplift. They should sit firmly in place without leaving any red marks. Once you know that the back band and straps are correct, it's time to move on to the cup. The cup should lift, support, and shape your boobs, just like this. If you have corrected your back band size, your cup size will more than likely have changed too. You may need to try a bigger cup size if your back size has reduced. Watch out for this. A lot of women don't start off with their boobs in the right place to begin with. Lean forward when you put your bra on. Then you need to scoop your breast tissue up to the center of the cup and from under the wire. Then it's time for a little jiggle and now you're not caught, it's time to get to work. Check that the center of the bra sits flat against the breastbone without digging in. Next check that the underwires also sit flat all the way around and that there are no gaps between the bra and your body. If the cup is too small, it will push the wires in the middle outwards. Try a larger cup size for a better fit. If you're bulging over the top or spilling out of the side, first you need to check the tension in the straps. They may need to be looser, but don't forget the two finger tension rule. If you've still got the double boob effect, the cups are too small. Another problem can be excess material in the cups. If there is still excess material after your boob jiggle, you'll need to go down a cup size. So that's the Bra Stop Do It Yourself Guide and four steps to a more confident you. Unfortunately, no one's size is written in stone, but this guide should help you see where you're going right and where mistakes can occur. Remember though, if you do need a little extra help, you can chat online to the Bra Stop Fitting Specialists. Shop with Bra Stop today to find the perfect fit for you.